Alright, looks like we've got readies from both uh, Octagon and Packy. We are counting it down. Three, two, one, and go! This time it is the top half of Packy's face missing. Just wait for him to lean down, Don Venier. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, yeah. get from the serious face. And here we go. And Packy off, and Savage Octagon will soon be off as well. Hopefully soon. Maybe today. Possibly <laughs> tomorrow. And there it goes. Savage there we go. Octagon. Right, there we, go. we just got just got the stream updated. There we go. We are back on re real time. And uh, it looks like uh, pretty close so far between these players. A slight advantage to Packy up by about four uh, viruses. Uh, as he's really starting to just down press, get uh, just simple clears with zero garbage falling. Uh, meanwhile, Octagon kind of having to get a little fancy here as the top line isn't as diverse as she'd like. Uh, as we hit minute one, though, it does look like uh, that Packy is maintaining a solid lead. Yeah, but uh, I, don't know if you, I don't know if you saw that, but um, Savage Octagon had a four virus clear with that double yellow in column two. That was a fantastic sight to see. Uh, still putting a very still putting the pressure on Packy right now. It's uh, only about a handful of viruses right now going into level ten. Four viruses for Packy, nine for Octagon. Is now Octagon uh, starting to get them doubles? Yeah, it's now down to one for Packy. Packy will be out at one thirty-five. Octagon with a good tuck play. Oh, good. Gets the horizontal clear, and she's out at 148. So, uh, pretty close between these two players as we get to our 11th round, uh, looking at these boards. Uh, very similar. Uh, open air bubbles closer to the bottom of the board. Uh, a lot of viruses stacked from the middle to the top. So, uh, we'll see how these players go. But uh, Packy really just going uh, absolutely bonkers here. Uh, looking for some blue support. Yeah, it's the blue that's just paralyzing Paki there. Uh, but uh, he's trying to put some stuff on top that uh, with the right pills will just uh, collapse uh, to the bottom. But he's just having to play the waiting game at this point. While Savage is uh, already opening up some advantage yeah, there. Yeah, already a pretty open board for a Savage on the left side. Getting, getting, a, getting a bit of a well there at the bottom. Uh, having to clear some stuff on the... She's gonna have to start clearing some stuff on the right if she wants any more diversity, because she's only got one spot for the blue, and that blue's gone. Only one spot for blue. Almost nothing for yellow, either, now that I'm looking at it. It's very heavy on the red, uh, and... And she's not getting a lot of it, actually, to try and bring down that uh, right side. Uh, which is giving Paki the chance to close the gap. Uh, he's only a couple of viruses away from her. It does look like Paki's about to run into a big yellow problem, however. Uh, and it looks like it's about to be a big red problem uh, for Savage Octagon. Looking as though she's going to go for uh, the horizontal yellow. I might have stayed, uh, stayed on that just a little bit and tried to go for the du uh, double red. But that's just me. Yeah, but the thing is, he, yeah, she has uh, vertical doubles as well, so probably it was better to just take that as uh, they they cooperate better the vertical than the horizontals. Nine to nine for these players, all tied up as far as the virus count goes. Uh, Savage Octagon has a uh, big triple and a double opportunity on her side of the board. Looks like she is going to take that uh, double and then the triple down to three. Uh, and then down to two, looking to take the lead here against Packy, trying to take down the three seed. Uh, still a lot of match here left, but it looks like Savage Octagon looks to be out of 11 first at 4.09. But no, at 4.08, as far as the time goes, Packy in the lead. Yeah, it's a very close game right now. Both players uh, on even pace yeah Ooh, although i also had to deal with a bit of a yeah having to deal with a bit of that uh red blue over there on the left side couldn't really put it anywhere 
Yeah, she tried to flip it and uh, then it just uh, play, it moved to the left side and she had no other other way to place it. But uh, uh, a couple of builds later, then she has just uh, dealt with that. But now the problem is there's uh, a lot of yellow on her on Savage's top line, while Paki has a very uh, diverse uh, board. Good side on the horizontal clear there too from Savage. As we hit uh, five minutes, clear some pieces. Savage is trying to get creative here, but uh, when the RNG isn't cooperating, that's going to give your opponent just an all the time in the world to really start going to town. Although Packy's got uh, a crater of uh, reds and then a blue top line, and as we see here, as uh, we're experiencing just a bit of a connection issue. Uh, we have uh, at about five and a half minutes uh, S Savage managing to maintain here. It's a two virus advantage for Packy. Yeah, Packy uh, having a split board at this point, uh, that's, uh, I mean, if, if you're trying to have a diversity of where to play, then that's great. But uh, yeah, the, given that the top line is not too high, then that doesn't pose a problem in drop time. Like in this setup though from Savage, she's got the double red ready to clear that uh, that red set on the top row. Looks like looks like that's what she's waiting on. There it goes. Just had to pull the trigger on it. But Packy with all yellows right now, just having to having to figure out where to put everything. Packy's oh, gonna, gonna get this though. Here. And Packy will be out at about six twenty. Yeah, about a 6.20, around there. And it looks like Savage is not getting good pieces right now, not getting the proper RNG. Yeah, she, uh, that's the first blue in quite a while that she got there. And uh, I mean, yeah, good good noticing there that uh, you, ha you want to use every single half uh, that is blue at this point because they are very scarce. Savage looked like she wasn't a fan of that play. I think she was looking to maybe uh, go underneath or uh, set up an L. That that might have been the play. That's entirely possible. Yeah, but at that point, you just want to get out of that level and start anew. Which, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, she might not be too happy about how it went, uh, really, but uh, it is the game. It is a 20 virus advantage right now for Packy as he is starting to run away here uh, with this first game. Still a lot of match left though, uh, and anything can happen. Yeah, it looked like looked like Savage had a bit of a misdrop though with that blue with that blue red pill she was trying to tuck in her dinghy, could not make it work. Yeah, it's the it's the issue of uh, playing uh, talks there. Uh, I mean, that's uh, Savage's style, and she gets them most of the time. But uh, when they fail, they can actually just uh, be detrimental to your play. Pretty good clear there to uh, to kind of get rid of that garbage. Getting back into a good position. Aki's going to set up for that horizontal clear to uh, get out of 13. Uh, and he'll be out at 821. If Packy's looking to uh, make the record on 14, he's got to finish 14 in less than a minute and 42 seconds. So... Yeah, at this point, it's back against himself, and we have seen that uh, this month he's bringing it uh, all, all in and just trying to go for those records. And a, and a tuck T there as he's down to 46 viruses, uh, playing this like a madman. Yeah, getting a little bit paralyzed there by the yellows on the top line, but uh, yeah, that double yellow is going to help, and uh, yeah, getting some some more yellows just to to keep it going at this point. Looks like Savage is just waiting for one more blue. She'll be out at 9:29. She'll get into 14. 
but it's about a 30 virus lead for Packy right right now. And by the look on her face, I think she knows how far behind she is. Yeah, and Packy I... just Packy's oh. just playing like a man possessed right now. I was just going to say that, uh, well, by what she was saying, I think that she's just taking this one as it is. Uh, of course, the frustration does uh, does happen, but uh, she knows sometimes the game goes this way, and uh, yeah, just trying to take it lightly, I think. And you see Packy there gets a nice combo. Down to about nine viruses now. Looks like he's... Yeah, it's just a bit of a cleanup effort for him right now. Just needs to minimize the drop time. I think he's... He's trying to play, uh, play for a horizontal triple here, potentially. I think that was the plan. Looks like he's abandoned that. Just needs to go everything down horizontally. There it goes, and it's at a 10.47. Great time for Packy. Uh, that is a hot time. It is a top 20 time uh, for that level block. So it is game one to Packy. Yeah, it's the 17th time, I think. So, yeah, great job there by Packy. I mean, just... Uh... Yeah, could, could, uh, Savage couldn't do much, and yeah, now she's noticed that uh, Paki is over, and yeah, I think she's just going to uh, shake it off and go for, for the next game. I I honestly think Paki wants to take uh, Frank on again. Uh, they went to five games in the semifinals last month, so uh, I think that is the motivation here uh, for Packy. Uh, but Savage Octagon would like to be uh, another player who we see get to consecutive finals. Yep. Now the difference would be Packy uh, and Frank uh, facing in the in the finals uh, last month. They faced on the semifinals, so yeah. Yeah, that, uh, that that may be... Uh, uh, taking a, a look at our predictions, by the way, 64% of our channel points going to Packy. Uh, Dars with a 12,000 channel point wager. Uh, Main Koo Cat dropping 5,500 on Savage Octagon. Uh, we have readies from both players. And 3, 2, 1, and off we go. And uh, good boards for both players, both kind of having a bit of a cliff on opposite sides of the board. Uh, looks like it's a very blue-heavy top line for Savage Octagon. Um, with a lot of air, with a, a giant air bubble on that bottom uh, half of her board. Uh, meanwhile, Packy's got just little pockets of air uh, all throughout his uh, board here, but not a lot of yellow to play with on his top line, or blue. Yeah, but Savage, uh, they're uh, just playing very creatively and uh, getting some crosses. Uh, just what you want to see, be uh, effective with uh, the color that is just plaguing your, your board. As for Paki, uh, he has nice, uh, nice diversity on his top line, and he's bringing it uh, very uh, efficiently down, though he has some troubles now on column 3 and 4. They are a bit high, but uh, the right pills can take care of that. And he's he's eating just a little bit of drop time, but he has worked on that spire. He's uh, chunked it down here as uh, both players with tw less than 20 viruses to go. Uh, it looks like Packy wasn't able to get that virus to flip down. So, uh, but it looks like he's taking care of that immediately uh, and setting up for horizontal in row two. Uh, meanwhile, Savage Octagon in the lead. As far as the virus count goes, 12 viruses to go for her, 15 for uh, Packy. Uh, that lead uh, dot looking like it's changing for the moment. Uh, and I say that, and it does, of course. Yeah, it looks, it's pretty It's pretty back and forth right now in terms of virus count. Packy with a good setup for a combo there. Has no more room for yellow. Good setup there to get rid of the drop time. Just needs three more reds. An octagon just late. needs one more red, and it looks like 
both players. Packy out at about two minutes. Savage Octagon out at just about a two o five. Yeah, both of them starting off relatively the same time, but Packy is a, uh, is ahead on time. Those those double blues uh, just coming right on time for Savage. There, uh, she had a a heavy blue top line, but uh, that took care of that very quickly. As we head about the three minute mark here, uh, we see a very uh, red and blue heavy top line from Savage Octagon. Uh, meanwhile, Packy maintaining a relatively diverse board, uh, just trying to uh, pick away at uh, certain sections of the board. Uh, he's down to 25 viruses, Savage at 27. Uh, Savage seems to have balanced out her uh, top line as well as we hit three minutes. Yeah, making a very good use of uh, of a combo there. It looks like Octang is going to go for a, for a vertical... No, sorry, not a vertical horizontal play, and she got it. Well, looks like... The, yeah, it looks like the end... The game scenario is probably going to be a bit more horizontal heavy, looking at those reds uh, down at the first I think the row. game plan is to go horizontal as much as possible on those bottom two rows. Uh, meanwhile, Packy kind of struggling here, a bit of a spire in column seven uh, at the three and a half minute mark. Uh, he's got a four virus lead, but he, he was hanging there for a minute with no clears for about 30 seconds. Five viruses now to go for Savage Octagon, three for Packy. Packy needs reds, and he's going to get them, and he's got a horizontal setup out at 355. Uh, Savage has a bit of a burial issue right here, uh, that blue virus buried. She can't access it with uh, a, a yellow clear. It looks like that's going to be the plan, so she just needs blue, and she'll be out, and Octagon out at 4 minutes, 12 seconds. Yeah, that was a good play. I think that, I think that was our game plan the whole time, just to clear that out horizontally. Don't have to worry about anything else like that. So that worked out very nicely. And she's that, not far behind Packy right now. Packy had a big combo to open up the bo the uh, level here. Uh, looks like he's getting stymied a bit by some uh, questionable RNG. As uh, we hit four and a half minutes, it is 39, 38 viruses for Packy, 45 for Savage Octagon. Packy doesn't really have any room for reds right now, and he's starting to get a glut of them with that red-blue combo. And he's also working on spires. He's made himself a couple of wells. There's a bit of a well in seven, and then uh, he's got a, a funnel over in uh, columns three and four. Uh, he has stymied it a bit with some uh, garbage plugging it up, but uh, that's a lot of drop time to be uh, suffering early on in your uh, game here. Yeah, and uh, looking at looking at Octagon's board, she's got a lot of one-drop combos ready to go. I don't know if I would have put that red there, but she's got it set up for a uh, for a horizontal play if she goes for it. Looks like that might be what she's going to do. She will. She gets the combo. Big drop cross for Packy. He spent a little bit of time working on that, but he's down down to 21. Has opened up the board. Uh, looks like he's really going to have to be hoping for some doubles to end uh, that left section. Uh, that right section is a bit more scattered. Uh, meanwhile, Octagon has a lot of garbage being stacked up here. Uh, looks like a couple of plays here could really benefit her. Um, I might have gone on that left side, but uh, what do I know? Octagon just yep. cleared out the right side of her board. Nah, she was just was setting up for that, but yeah. we, we wouldn't have seen it, really. I, I, I couldn't see it until it just uh, cracked open. Six viruses to go for both players here as uh, Octagon trying to uh, open up a lead, but Packy's now set up another combo, so it is five to four as uh, it looks like three viruses now to go for Packy. Now down to one. He's going to be out at 620. Almost got the area code. Uh, two viruses to go uh, for Savage Octagon, and she will be out at 631. So this player's not too terribly uh, far away from one another at this point. John, as uh, we get into the midpoint or the penultimate level of uh, the second run. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, Savage just uh, brought it back there with that beautiful combo, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been just uh, uh, not not easy for Packy to to open uh, a wider uh, uh, advantage at this point. But uh, at this point, even Savage right now is just taking uh, the lead for for a brief moment. 
and it looks like 40 to 37 right now. And uh, yeah, that's looks how like I got a bit of a mist drop with that blue red. Yeah. yeah, that's definitely what happened there. She's trying to make the most of it, though. Going to get some uh, garbage to fall down. Trying to get some stuff clear horizontally. Uh, good management there, uh, but it, that has allowed Packy to retake the lead. Although Octagon is uh, fighting to keep it tied as she gets a lightning bolt. Mario fans. So I'm just trying to open that uh, left side. Uh, she has some garbage there and, uh, well, needs uh, specific pills, mostly a uh, red, uh, double reds there would be very helpful. As uh, she's starting to run from stuff that she can do on that uh, right side. Perfect timing for that double red. And I think we're going to see a nice big wide L from Packy there as he's down to 14 viruses. He's got that yellow garbage. Uh, really just trying to give him a hard time, just reminding him it's there. Uh, but I like this play here by Packy. He's going to uh, drill down, get a horizontal, and uh, be set up uh, for some more uh, very, very good plays as he's free and clear on all of his viruses. Oh, buddy, miss drops. Oh, no. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh. But he's got, looks like he's got a backup plan. Yeah, I think he's just gonna drill. Yeah, he he's just gonna keep that layer open, and he'll be out at 8:48. Uh, Savage Octagon, not far behind, just needs a couple of reds. Yeah, she hasn't been able to take care of that because, uh, yeah, she had a traffic light situation on that right mm -hmm. side. She manages to get out at 9:02 from level 13. As we hit 14, it's a very, all. very close game. Uh, just uh, with that big clear now, it's seven viruses uh, for Packy, but Packy's having some garbage problems early. Yeah, making his board completely blue on the top line, and no blue coming at this point. That's that's the issue. Yeah, that's allowing Savage Octagon to. That's allowing Savage Octagon to take the lead here, but the blue support has finally come for Packy, so uh, he's really starting to go to town here, uh, just trying to get quick clears as he is down to 45 viruses, Savage Octagon at 37, but now dealing with very limited access to blue. Yeah, but she has a nice uh, even top line, uh, bringing it down all even. That's what you want to do to get, re get ready for the end game and just, uh, yeah, not have to deal with drop time. Packy 33 viruses here. Savage Octagon, though, has put a double-digit lead uh, between her and the three seed right now, uh, but dealing with that red top line. But Packy's got a uh, equally uh, devastating blue top line right now, and uh, really just trying to get something oh, no, going here. Up from Octagon. Hasn't affected her too much though, uh, as it's a 14 virus lead. Uh, Packy just trying to not have to deal with this. Uh, very, very red and yellow top line here, having to get creative. Uh, we're seeing him make some very, very good plays. Uh, 24, 23 to 14 now. Uh, Packy definitely behind here as we approach the end game of uh, level 14. Both players just getting stuck there. Uh, Savage doesn't get the the red pills just to open wide that the right side. And uh, she had and... the time to go for that left side. There we go. And Packy's managed to come back, and he's going to get a quad horizontal down to oh, seven. Really recovering from that rough start. Yeah, another mistake there. Oh boy, that's uh, that's going to take some time again. A very, I, I, very I, I, rough miss drop. Making some good use of it. She's recovered nicely. He's only down by two. Down to five here, as uh, it's now two viruses, but Packy. Uh, just needing two yellows. Octagon is going to need to get to work here. She needs three yellows to Packy's two. Octagon going to be out at 11 31. Oh my we God, have, my have a tie. <laughs> we have a tie. <laughs> we will be playing a sprint of level 15. Our first ever tie. We do not factor in hundredths and th tenths of a second. We go the full time. We are going to our first ever overtime run here oh, as we go to level 15. <laughs> uh, okay. You're gonna get we're gonna get readies from both players. 
We're, we're witnessing history, folks. The first ever monthly speed tiebreaker. All right, so uh, we'll be getting readies from both players. Yep, we're going for level 15, so uh, where you left at uh, this point, uh, you, you restart your timer when you hit start and go, go for it. Yep. Fastest to complete 15. If you top out, you're immediately eliminated. Yeah, so, so remember that. do not top out. So uh, we're going to get readies from both players here. Before we before we get ready, we're just gonna verify the tie. Yep, the tie is verified. Uh, so uh, we have a ready from Octagon. We just need a ready from Packy. You're just yeah, I, he sprinting. Ready, yeah. through... Oh, we have readies for both players. All right, three, two, one, start overtime. Here we go, folks. Our first ever overtime in Dr. Mario speed history. All right, here we go. Starting on level 15. It is fastest to beat 15. If they manage to tie again, we go to 16. Uh, we but going till we have a winner. But given that this is the first time we've had an overtime, I don't think we're going to go to another level. But wow. Uh, our first overtime here in uh, Dr. Mario Speed. Incredibly exciting. Uh, 53 to 54 right now. It's just a slight lead to Savage Octagon as uh, Packy is just trying to get some very efficient clearing going on here. He's starting to pull away here uh, at first into the sub-50 zone. Uh, 50, uh, 45, 48, now 43, 48 with that big clear. Uh, John, it looks like uh, Packy really starting to get a surge here. Savage Octagon uh, methodically setting up some plays. Yeah, Savage is not getting the right range at this point. Uh, a lot of yellow on her top line, really. That's uh, well, it's basically only yellow, really. But uh, yeah, uh, hopefully, getting she's gonna get a surge of uh, yellows at some point, maybe. And uh, yeah, start opening wide uh, her board. But that's giving Paki the chance to uh, make this uh, a double digit uh, advantage on his on his side. He is up by 11 viruses here in this uh, extra extra level here in the second game. Uh, for those of you who just joined us, uh, these players tied, which means they play the next level, level 15. Uh, Paki down to 26, Octagon at 40. Uh, yeah, but a here, double on her board though. She's starting to set up, though. I think we're going to see a surge in her future. I don't know. She's having to deal with a little bit of red garbage there in column two. Now a little bit of blue. It's just she hasn't getting, been getting the right pills in the right order. Uh, yeah, trying to do the best, uh, but uh, but not happening so far. Uh, Paki with a very clean board at this point. Paki yeah, down to 16. Right now. Yeah, but... Unfortunately, Savage is just not able to get anything going in this extra level. Gets the horizontal, gets the good, good combo. Oh, and it's a misdrop! Uh, that's a big misplay. That might be all she wrote here in the second game uh, for Savage Octagon. Oh, and another uh, one! Looks like she was trying to go for the tuck and couldn't get it done in time. I think she was just trying to play aggressively here. That's what you have to do, especially knowing that that RNG at the start was so incredibly rough. Um, but Packy uh, looking to be out of 15 here, hopefully in under three minutes. Yeah, just needs two more reds now. Got to be careful about stacking because if you top out, you immediately are out. Uh, you would immediately okay, lose the, match, the game and Packy out at 250. So uh, Packy wins the overtime. So Packy will be up two games to nothing. Yeah, a bit of unfortunate, uh, 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 an unfortunate border for Savage, but uh, she tried her best, uh, tried to do something with uh, what she was handed, but uh, it wasn't enough. Uh, Packy had had a very nice uh, level 15 there. Yeah, a very good run from there from both Octagon and Packy. But now you have to wonder the 
she Octagon had a couple of misdrops in that second game. If if she had cleaned up her game a little bit, she probably would have gotten that first crown. Yeah, definitely those so those mistakes co cost her seconds, and uh, just one of them not happening probably uh, would have uh, put this uh, one one. This is what happens when we pay, make Packy mad to Savage Octagon. Uh, but the fact the fact that she came back and forced that that over time. Uh, she was she was behind quite a bit on that 14, so uh, let, we're going to give our players just a second here uh, because that was intense, having to play that extra level. Meanwhile, uh, Floyd, it, our, uh, who uh, maintains our uh, times here, is probably going to be like, oh, God, how do I do this? So, Because this is our first overtime. We never factored this in, <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll have fun notating that. But, yeah, history made here. On a semi-final Sunday, Packy now has three <laughs> three accomplishments to his name here. Uh, world record on nine, uh, world record on uh, eight to eleven, and now the first first player along with Savage Octagon to have an overtime. I mean, it's uh, we're rewriting the the tournament uh, in this one year anniversary uh, at this point uh, i don't want to know what's going to happen on the second year it's going to be wild well uh we're we're gonna get readies from our players here packy looking to win one more uh, and he'll take on frank savage octagon uh looking to make sure she uh, does not tie uh the next match Well, that, that, that's exactly what uh, happened to me yesterday, Savage. I tried my best uh, against Pack, but boy, he's, uh, yeah, he's something else. <laughs> you're, you're facing uh, a, a great player there, and I mean, no, not saying that you're not, but boy, yeah, that's, <laughs> it's a different uh, game that you're playing there. Okay, we have, uh, we have our countdown going, and our player should be going any moment. There Savage go. Octagon, first out of the gates, getting a blue-red with no blue on her top line. Uh, that would make you just throw your controller uh, into the dumpster. Uh, <laughs> meanwhile, uh, Packy also not getting a lot of blue support to start his stage off, but uh, the early lead right now to Savage Octagon. So far, an early advantage for her, for sure. Looks like she's going to try for a horizontal for that uh, yellow there in the top right. That is her plan, and she gets it. Nicely done, but now it leaves a bunch of reds with very little blue opens. Yeah, she's going to have to be very creative uh, with this uh, run through of 10 here. Packy in the same situation. Uh, very limited blue access here. A lot of red, a lot of yellow. Uh, and that's going to make things a bit complicated. Uh, it looks like Savage Octagon going to try to set up here uh, for a uh, cross drop as uh, she's at 27 viruses. Uh, and she will get that cross drop down to 24. But Packy right now is surging through uh, despite a bit of a trouble over in column six, John. Yeah, um, but uh, he's he has everything packed uh, very nicely there. Uh, if he gets uh, another blue, that uh, maybe a blue yellow would be great, or a double blue. Okay, he's going to go for somewhere else. Uh, just waiting for the right field. Oh, that's beautiful. I think he has uh, more of a variety there. He could use any any pill really to to trigger that. And Savage Octagon's been doing excellent work here, uh, maintaining diversity. Uh, she's going to drop down for a triple horizontal clear and setting up uh, for that blue in row one. Really like that play. She is down by seven right now uh, as Packy is trying to get out of ten. And he's going to try to do it as quickly as he can here. Uh, not tucking that yellow underneath. There he goes. He got that one, though. And if I'm Savage Octagon... On that that red up in column eight Absolutely. is the last thing I'm dealing with, barring getting a double red. Uh, as we hit the as we hit the two minute mark here, uh, Packy is uh, already uh, cruising through level eleven. Uh, we just need reds on Savage Octagon's side, and uh, you see her trying to just reduce drop time the best way she can. Uh, and she's just got to get one red. She's going to get over there out at two nineteen. Uh, and as we get into eleven, she is about eleven viruses behind John. Yeah, but uh, meanwhile, Packy having that uh, board that's completely split, that first column just on its own is going to take some time unless he can make some scaffolding there for it. Uh, on, on the right side, it's uh, yeah only blue and red, not uh, yellow anywhere to be seen. And if I'm Savage Octagon, I never want to see another red virus in my life uh, <laughs> with, these, with how these past two levels have started. 
Uh, incredibly rough start here uh, as Savage Octagon needing one red. Maybe even a double red. A double red would be great, but uh, not even getting that. But getting the fat log, getting some stuff cleared out, uh, getting that red on top cleared out, getting that top line down. But it is currently a uh, 13 virus lead uh, for the uh, th three seed Packy. Yeah, I mean, at this point, if you're a savage, you just want to see any kind of wrath uh, will work. Uh, yeah, but uh, still uh, making some talks there and uh, coming up with uh, interesting ideas uh, to overcome this uh, horrible RNG that she's getting at this point. That RNG from uh, that overtime seeming to come back to haunt her, but uh, making some great plays. I like that sweet tea. Uh, she is down to 17, now down to 15, really trying to get back into that single digit margin, and that's what she's doing here, Ethan. Yeah, doing a very good job. Has a, has a pretty clean board. Doesn't have much for yellow right now. But she's setting things up for it. Nice tuck combo. Packing in a little bit of trouble, though. He's got a big old spire there in column three. But he'll set up a combo, he just needs that one red, and he's out at 05. Meanwhile, Savage Octagon, I think, really looking for some blue uh, support here. Looks like she's finally going to get it. Oh, tried to go oh, for the fat God. log, didn't God, get it. A little too much. It's workable, yeah, though. Right. She can still work it out. She's going to get another chance, and she'll get it. Wanted to get that... Uh... Yeah, you can see her not not happy about the result on that bottom row. I think she wanted that horizontal on that yellow. Yeah, she yeah, did. It, it's getting a little... Uh, well, uh, she's going to have to dig uh, a bit just to get to that yellow. And uh, yeah, any other possibilities uh, completely scrapped at this point. Uh, trying to figure this out on the fly, it's, it's going to take some time and energy as well. Savage, uh, you know getting some stuff set up here. It looks like she's going to have to play uh, everything, or at least the yellow and red horizontally. Uh, the blues can be played vertically, and uh, we're going to see a drop cross here, uh, and potentially another one. Uh, no, we are going to see Octagon finally out at 515, but uh, Packy has run away. He's up by almost half a level. Yeah, that that's, uh, at that point, yeah, he was uh, half a level ahead, and I mean, this is the point where Savage has to just uh, risk even more than she has been. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that she has been doing it because uh, you're playing one, two games behind, but uh, boy, Paki hasn't, uh, hasn't given her any room to breathe. And the, the level has not been really cooperative with her either. She's got a lot of uh, yellow, red, uh, yellow blue, excuse me. Um, just opening up a couple of reds right now, but it's not really going to do much. Although now she's starting going to have a little more color diversity. Uh, this could give her a chance to uh, to start moving up a little bit. She does have a very balanced board. Packy buried a little bit in uh, level 12 here. Uh, that right corner is going to be problematic for him. It's going to eat time. Uh, this is the comeback opportunity Savage Octagon needed as it is a 15 virus lead. And uh, we're seeing some really smart tuck plays here uh, yeah, by Savage got Octagon. A really good tuck play there. Uh, gonna have to deal with a little bit of a yellow garbage there in column seven. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, because if, if if anything, that red in column seven is probably have, gonna have to be taken care of horizontally. Packy out at Packy out at six thirty two, and we have Kingsman raiding with a party of thirty nine. Shout out to our uh, classic Tetris community. We love y'all. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Always, always good to see the. Always good to have raiders from both the uh, Dr. Mario and Tetris community helping each other out. We always appreciate your company. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we both play these uh, puzzle games that uh, make that make you think on the fly with whatever RNG you get, and it's usually in both of them pretty terrible. But uh, hey, we love and we hate these games. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as our uh, chat enjoying that raid, uh, taking a look here, uh, Octagon just needing a blue, and she'll be out at 7... Oh, Ooh, misplayed that. Out at 7.25. Um, a bit of frustration on the face of uh, Savage Octagon, as Packy uh, just making some brilliant drops here, has a big well in the middle of his board, uh, and is just trying to make his best uh, work with it here as uh, we hit about the eight minute mark it is a 25 virus advantage 
or excuse me, a uh, not not 25 of virus advantage, 21 virus advantage. Tomorrow we'll work on shapes and colors. Good job. Um, although, admittedly, I think the way just observing the way I'm oh no. Packy making a big misplay, trying to, uh, he's going to try to das uh, over, potentially. Or I think he's going to try to uh, drill drop yeah, and get that double up. yellow, but... They're very nice. Um, as I was about to say, I think I think Octagon is trying to be a little too aggressive in her gameplay, and that's resulting in her overshooting her target. Uh, that's been the cause of a lot of her misplays. She's been, she, you know, she's got the right game plan, but just ends up just ends up pushing it just one piece too far, and that just ends up uh, causing a little bit of a delay in her clearance. And, and that happens to players at any skill level. Uh, you, you you know, you might be playing really well, and, uh, you know, you get a little overzealous with the move, and, uh, you know, especially when you're playing behind here, uh, down already two to nothing, uh, you, you want to make sure that uh, you're just being as efficient as you can. Uh, without sacrificing, you know, any sort of uh, garbage plays, but sometimes you just have to, you're just on that down button. Yeah, that's kind of the case right now, although Octagon's going to have a good combo here with the Reds, but Packy out of 13 at 9-10. So Packy just needing these 60 viruses to uh, put this one away, give himself a little bit of a break here before we get to uh, our final match. Uh, but Octagon is fighting and will fight to the very end. She's out at 9.30, so she is yeah, uh, only 10 viruses behind here. She could she could force another overtime right here. It's she's... entirely possible. She's starting to get a little more aggressive. She's being more precise with her piece placement. It's it's looking pretty good for her in terms of her gameplay right now. Very, very dive forward for the time being. Opening up a couple more yellows there on the left. Uh, it looks like it's a 15 virus lead. Uh, Packy has spires, uh, but Octagon trying to play this tight. Uh, minimal drop time wherever she can, uh, making tuck plays wherever she can. She is going to have to drill that yellow down, um, and it looks like she's going to play that yellow vertically. 31 to 45 here as we hit the 10 minute, 15 second mark, John. Yeah, and I would have uh, I thought that she would go for that uh, column 4 and 5 spire that she had there with uh, that red blue and start bringing it down but uh, well uh, not 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 working at all uh, I mean the, the pieces aren't aren't helping her at this point uh, meanwhile Paki with a beautiful top line they're almost flat just uh, just what you want to see to avoid any drop time. The, the other thing I noticed about Octagon is she had an opportunity for a cross and to really get some uh, diversity on the top line and uh, didn't go for it. Do you think that that just comes with your, you're just trying to clear as tightly as you can and you're not really thinking about anything more elaborate than, you know, a two or three drop uh, combo? I think it's uh, mostly you are just pressing down and uh, just going with your first instinct. And sometimes you need some, uh, you need time to really bring those plans to fruition. And uh, at this point, that's uh, that's not the style that Savage is playing. Octagon yes, down to 14. Very, very much going in for the, <laughs> excuse me, trying to get trying to get the minimal drop time. And she, yeah, you can kind of see that in her gameplay. Packy down to two, just needs that red. He's going to get it out at 11 minutes and 30 seconds. But Octagon making it a game. Uh, she's down to her last four. But what a wild semifinal this, uh, this was. Uh, this three to nothing does not do this matchup justice. Oh, no, definitely. Uh, we, we're going to have to tell the story of it. Octagon finishing within 20 seconds. And and a three to nothing sweep, but uh, an overtime being forced in game two just to get Packy that second win. Octagon getting within single digits here in this last game. Brilliant, brilliant matchup between these two. Octagon's going to get another championship point, uh, which gives her uh, for the year uh, five championship points. So uh, in increasing her standing here. Uh, as we uh, are on our road to the 2021 championship out in December. But we need to determine a champion here in the month of May. And we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to take a quick 10-minute break. Uh, we're going to let uh, Packy just catch his breath for a little bit, uh, as we do before every final. It is the finals, though. Best of five, 13 to 17. Packy and Frank, one versus three. We'll be right back. <laughs> 